name's Hazel and I'm going to tell you about our plant of the week. Here we have Abelia. Now Abelia are evergreen or semi-evergreen shrubs. They reach about 1.2 metres but they'll spread wider than that, so about 1.5 metres. And that's because they have these slightly drooping, arching stems. And you can see that at this time of year, so we're in late summer, and these will flower prolifically. They are covered in these white flowers. Some of them have like little pinky buds. There are some varieties which will have a darker pink flower, but these ones here have got sort of lighter pink to white flowers. They have beautiful glossy green foliage. And this one here, this is my favourite. This one's called Sunshine Daydream. It has these gorgeous variegated leaves with hints of yellow. And then you, when it's flowering, the calices give this kind of a little pink effect as well. So it's almost a tri-colour shrub. They are also scented. So the smell that I'm getting from here is just delicious. It's really lovely. And they will flower from summer through to the autumn. These sepals then will stay on as well a little bit longer so that that colour will be extended a little bit further as well. They're so easy to grow. They like a nice well-drained soil and make sure it's quite good and fertile, so not too poor a soil. So give them a good mulch every year, make sure they have some nice compost to keep the soil fertile. And they also have a degree of drought resistance. So once they're established, you don't need to worry too much about watering unless it's a really prolonged hot um, session. So they do like a really sunny spot. The only thing you need to worry about is that they like to be sheltered from a really cold wind. So in the south of England here, we're probably not too, too worried about it, but if you are looking at this video from somewhere up north and you get really cold uh, winds, dry winds in the winter, then I would put this somewhere near a sunny wall, like a, a south facing wall. These shrubs need hardly any pruning at all. They're really low maintenance. You can prune in the late spring uh, after the frosts and only if you need to cut it back if it's got a little bit too big or perhaps if you don't quite like the shape of it as it is. So really low maintenance, hardly anything that you need to do. And they're just such good garden doers, not really affected by pests or diseases. So really lovely, low maintenance, but evergreen shrub that will give you colour and structure all year round.